What is up, bros? The new R6 Marketplace has gone live where you can buy and sell some of the rarest and most expensive items in the game. There's items like Year 1, Season 1 Glacier, Year 1, Season 4 Gold Dust, and even items that are going for 100,000 R6 credits. So I figured I would do the most irresponsible thing that I could think of in the moment and decided that I would gamble $1,000 and see what you can get on this new market and see if we either end up a millionaire or homeless. And I think the final amount is really gonna surprise you this right here is my starting amount so let's get into it and we are gonna immediately just go straight into only the year one stuff r4c black ice about 2000 r6 credits the current price range is 1999 so one eighth 100 bucks divided by eight it's about 1250 right now obviously you can see how cheap some of the other ones are like the glass black ice 185 r6 credits and the current price range constantly changes so people are constantly listing it gold dust skin 15 thousand r6 credits that's a little less than 100 bucks so look at this this is interesting a year one season four aug for iq the last one sold at 120 but the current price range is 4,000 r6 credits these are the ones i did purchase already i did end up buying crossfaders i got it for 5,000 though and i got let's see castles armor charm cheap year two season one skins for like it was like 120 credits snake I also ended up getting Killjoy, which is a year two season one legendary. I got that one for 120. Bomberos, which is a year two season one epic. Got that for 120. Cold War USA, got that for 120 also. The Yellow Fin, which I also got for 120, which is actually crazy because 160R credits is about a dollar, right? I'm getting all of these for 75 cents. Grand Inquisitor, year two season one legendary, just over a dollar. Did end up getting the Glacier for Fuses LMG. Got it for 6,400. Snagged to this year one season three charm for 150. The little skeleton dude look at this 13,000 that's less than a hundred bucks i'm surprised that there's really any glaciers for less than a hundred bucks no way look at this again so glacier for the p9 the last one sold at 120 r6 credits which is nothing the current price range is 7,000. 30,000 r6 credits for the r4c now which is running you about 200 bucks i'm going to be really curious to see how those change the 4,000 R6 credits for a Super 90 Glacier. That's running you only 25 bucks. It'd be about 30 bucks. You know, let's snag this. The cheapest one is 4,398. Let's snag this one. Come on, please. Let me give you money, Ubisoft, bro, please. Actually, they got my money already. It doesn't matter if I can't spend it or not. In my attempt to fix the error code, I went back and canceled all of my purchase orders. So if you see my balance change a little bit, that's why. Mm, I like this skin. We're gonna see if we can get this. 10,000, so that comes out to 60 bucks. 10,000 smackaroos. It was at this point that I was desperate to figure out what was going on. I didn't have 20 orders, and this was before they even told us that they did put a 20 order limit on it. I thought you could do infinite at this point in time, and eventually I did think I fixed it until I realized I was gonna have to just give up until the next day. Like look, year two season two skin for 120, it's like basically nothing. Can't process your order okay i think i've placed too many orders we're just gonna view the whole catalog i want to just immediately go and see what the most expensive items on this are so most expensive item the six invitational player 18 charm so there's some pros on here listing stuff that sold for a hundred thousand r6 credits over six hundred dollars i gotta show you this real quick this is crazy glacier price range if i want to buy it right now i'd have to spend seven thousand five hundred r6 credits and it's listed all the way up to 50,000 R6 credits. Somebody put a buy order in for 362 and it got filled. Somebody sold Glacier for 362 R6 credits. $2.27 for like $1.50. You can get a Muppet skin. These Muppet headgears, these are some of the rarest actual event skins because the Muppet headgears never came back they've only been part of one event and they never came back after that versus a lot of the other skins have come back 350 for pizza mozzie headgear that was only available for a limited time as suspected this is going to be running people the cheapest one right now is 50,000 r6 credits over 300 bucks all right boys so i'm back 24 hours later i'm gonna see if i'm still locked out glacier on the r4c is now 40,000 r6 credits Cross shotgun. We're gonna just go for it, see if we can get this. We're gonna just do it at 5,500 and hope it goes through. 
It worked. This is the one I was pretty upset about yesterday. I had the opportunity to buy MP5 and Glacier for a pretty good price. Yeah, I was locked out, so couldn't do. Let's look up Pro League. Wait, yeah, we kind of need this for 120. Wait, we kind of need this one too. I'm using all 20 of my purchases to buy copper charms. Yeah, okay, that's it. Let's look up Invitational. What is that, Late, slightly over 600 bucks? Yeah, six Invitational VIP 2018. Dang, quite the dramatic drop off. So we go from like 100,000, 100,000, down to 550. This is a six Invitational VIP skin. It's going for the minimum price. Obviously, we gotta get this. Six Invitational VIP 2022. I don't know why this is so cheap, but I feel like this might be one of the things that eventually is not going to be. Oh, I'm going to get it. A couple other things I want to look up. Racer skins. Okay, nothing. Dust line. Nothing. Okay, let's look at the gold dust. So the most expensive gold dust skin is for Jaeger's 416C carbine running about 100 bucks right now. Maybe I get this one. This is 2,500 for the sausage. After those five purchases, I still have 171,000 R6 credits. We got to do something crazier. Let's just sort the last sale price highest to lowest. And let's see if we can do something ridiculous here. Interesting. A wax comb going for 100,000 R6 credits with blue rarity. A void edge headgear last sold for 100,000 R6 credits. Either somebody's doing some funky business here or somebody had the biggest typo ever what's going on here last sold at thirty thousand, but i could buy one right now for 9.99 wait i'm gonna i'm getting this what's going on july august september it was only available for three months interesting oh interesting look at this last sold 4500 and i can get one right now for 3600 the year two season one skin what is this wait i'm gonna get this oh it, it sold like instantly wait we'll keep an eye on it what is this <laughs> Signature 6 2019. I'm actually missing this one. Uh, did I get it? Okay, I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, okay. What's funny is so the Signature 619 actually looks really similar to like the Pro League player one that was selling for 100,000, I feel like. El Dorado skin. Wait, I actually don't have this one. Penta 2019 skin, and it's for the MPX for 1250. I don't believe I have 20. After that, had to wait a few hours, and then it finally let me order some more stuff. Just picked up right back where we were at. Went and looked at the MPXs. Got this year two season one MPX skin. Grabbed the Nora Rangu 2019 skin. Then I finally gave in YOLO to Glacier for 13,000, which actually ends up being a huge return of investment later on. Not that you can actually sell it for cash. Grabbed the USA Pro League Diamond Charm. Grabbed the Rusty Trigger R4C skin. And keep in mind, all of these ones that I'm grabbing right now are with in the first couple years of the game. Grabbed the 2018 phase charm, which I believe was the first phase charm. Grabbed the year two season one hot chopper skin for Thermite. Grabbed the protector skin, which was the year three season one legendary vigil mask. Got the Santa cap can. Grabbed the Mac Daddy Deagle alpha pack charm. Tried to grab the Shinobi warrior mask, got locked out. But at the end of the day, these were my totals for my top eight skins. If I was to just liquidate them right there, I was going by the current price range and I just went by the lowest one available. Still in quite the deficit. So total spent 1,260, give or take. At the start of the next day, I caught wind that this darkened skin for Habana was actually on sale on the market. The rumor was that this was a skin that you could only get if you bought the darkened jacket and then scanned a QR code on that jacket. There was also a darkened skin in the shop though, so I'm not 100% sure which one this is. Ended up copping the whole set though, just in case. Might be a huge L, might be a dub later on. We'll see what the value is later on. This day, I also got lucky and got a buy order that went through for the Universal Year 2 Season 1 skin, Leon Furioso. Got it for 3,900 R6 credits. And honestly, I think it's one of the most underrated skins on the market. Besides that, grab this P90 skin, a couple Year 2 skins like this one for Mira. Ended up finding this Irish Rover skin for Thermite, and it was only available for a few months, it looked like. So, cop that. Ended up grabbing the Leopard skin. Tried to grab Zebra. Couldn't get it. End of this day, 203,000, almost 100,000 R6 credit gain. It was pretty crazy. Now, at the start of the next day, just picked up right where I left off. Grabbed the Zebra. Grabbed the Snow Tiger. Gold Metal Charm. Then decided to go for the Glacier. I really figured out that I ended up just getting Glacier on like mean weapons. 
100% worth it. Grab this combat ready. Then I did give in, complete the attachment skin collection. Grab the Ents charm, grab this Tachanka year one helmet, grab this R4C skin, grab the confidential MPX skin. And at the end of this day, I'd gone up about 1,000 R6 credits. Didn't really do any big purchases on this day, but you'll see how I'm about to blow through the last half of my R6 credits on the last day. At the start of the last day, I ended up grabbing some SI skins. This is six years ago. That's awesome. We need it. Honestly, don't know why I bought this one. Got a gold Tachanka chibi. Ended up looking at glazed waffle because I remember Varsity talking about it in our video together. I was really surprised at the price. Wait, that's crazy, dude. 150 for these? $1.20? That's actually crazy. Glazed waffle, 120. After that, grabbed Rook's gift. Then I wanted to do something big. Last sold was 18,000. And right now I can get it for 16, which is exactly 100 bucks. So I'm actually gonna see if we can nab this. I got it, 63,000 credits left. I might, this is crazy. I have 29,000 left. Let me see if I can get two more. Twitch line dock rip grim. Grim has it too. All right, we're gonna, we're doing this. This shotgun. You know what happened? Wait, what happens if I cancel one of these? Okay, I get my balance back. So I've actually I have twenty seven thousand now, and then I can lead these three up and see if they ever get filled. So I could get the gold dust MP five, which is I've been wanting an MP five skin. Okay, current balance two thousand seven hundred thirty three. That'll allow me to buy some like random year one charms and stuff. Bought the year one gold fuse chibi, bought the Thanksgiving drumstick, the year one pretzel, and the invisible hat. And after that, got the daytime ghost Kavera headset that I was somehow missing. 1700 credits left. Maybe I'll use that for the season pass or something. So let's do a last final update on the most valuable items that I have available right now. Last sale press high to low. So you can see death sentence headgear now 50,000. Headgear for Habana has gone up quite a bit, 50,000. Glacier on Sledge's L8, 37. Wow, look at that. There's 388 purchase orders and only eight sale orders. That's crazy. Look at the ratio of these. This one has gone up quite a bit. Gold Dust MP5, 30,000. Frozen Soldier Ace Headgear, 30,000. So yeah, these are the total numbers after gambling about $1,260 in R6 credits and skins. Obviously, you can't resell R6 credits for cash, but if you could, the return of investment would have been decent, about 540 bucks. But overall, I feel like this was a great success. I don't have any plans on selling skins, but if I do and want to become an R6 credit millionaire, maybe I will.